Uh, today's throwback. The historical and constitutional tragic comedy of the dying executive officers of the Federation. Governor Kangiwa of the old Sakwato state, comprising of today's Sakwato, Kirby, and Zamfara states, who fatally fell off his polo horse while playing the aristocratic game, was the only gubernatorial character who died in the four year and three month duration of the coup aborted Second Republic, which lasted from the 1st of October 1979 to the night of 31st of December 1983. The suddenness of his death, like Governor Yakowa's of Kaduna State in this Fourth Republic, who was one of the victims of a helicopter accident, did not cause any undue constitutional hangover. Our bait, Prime Minister Tafara Balewa, Premier Sadano and Akintola similarly lost their lives at the very end of the First Republic, but the, but the Constitution too was immediately suspended in the aftermath of the porch that claimed their lives. However, this Fourth Republic has not only witnessed the constitutional stress of a so-called quote-unquote doctrine of necessity, which was invoked to terminate the blatant insult inflicted upon our collective psyche by the selfishly manipulative wife and kitchen cabineteers of an atrophying President Umaru Yadua, who soon after the constitutional flagellation died in office. Yobe State had, in 2009, suffered the gradual withering and ultimate demise of Governor Mamambelu Ali to a mild version of the untold drama. Governor Dambaba Suntai of Taraba State, who incurred a very serious physically wasting injury while self piloting himself in a light aircraft, similarly generated a sudden constitutional and dramatic irritation, like Arakuni Akredolus, which just ended in Ondo State. Please read ASAP of a reportage of Governor Suntai's obituary in a respected digital publication, Premium Times, then and compared to Akechi's, quote, he was flown back to Nigeria on August 25, 2013, after 10 months of medical treatment overseas, following claims by supporters that he was fit to govern. Quotation continues, but after weeks of political crisis in the state, Based on claims and counterclaims over his health status, it was revealed that the governor was not healthy enough to live in Nigeria without adequate treatment or to govern a state, unquote. I am wondering, why should the lot of millions of our people be allowed to be abused by self-serving wives and angers on of dying politicians? I am. Bola Roba.